Greetings, people, from the Great Start Studio, where all my dreams are coming true. I've been bringing you all of these uh, drumstick illustrations where I talk. Uh, using a drumstick is the same thing I do in my lessons constantly because I have sticks in my hands and I, I end up using this as an illustration. Push subscribe, like, or something. Just be cool. Leave a comment that really helps me get my work out there. These stick illustrations are so clear to me because these poles are like bookends is what they are for a certain sort of concept. So I talk a lot about being a full spectrum person. In this one, I want to talk about the two poles of one is critique and one is praise. And critique is a negative thing on the face of it that's ultimately a good thing. And praise is a positive thing that can be a negative thing. So this is like kind of like flattery in a way. What we have to do is for instructors and for ourselves, we have to do both of these things. And uh, I love the quote that says, God gave us two, two arms, one to slap people and one to hug them. And so I just, I just love that quote. It's just so clear. There are people who only slap people. It is so annoying. They, uh, they have to come off as an authority and talk down to people all the time. It's, it's so annoying. And then there are people who only praise people. Truly also annoying. Where they only praise people and they don't know how to be critical. Even when they're getting paid to be critical. I mean, this is your job. So at a certain point, you have to figure out how to balance these things out. The real problem is, is how to balance them out inside of ourselves. But inside of ourselves, we have a different sort of battle. And this is like the real battle. And if you can get control of, the, of the, this battle inside, you can get control of it really to project it uh, out to the world. So it's kind of the Socrates, you know, Confucius idea that have like 600 BC or something where they both said that you can't change the world until you first change yourself. And so the idea here is, is that this critical idea, some people beat themselves up critically so much that they actually stop. They actually stop. Now, this is a huge mistake. It's a huge mistake to be that critical of yourself. I get being critical. I get the pressure. Okay. So, but you also have to know when to praise yourself. And we've talked about this in these drumstick illustrations about reality, how important reality is. And if we would just attend to reality, it will tell us everything. The reality is, is you're not completely worthless and you're not, you know, God's gift of drumming. And somewhere in here, this different days, it will be different balance. And so you are trying to get this perfect balance balance where you are critical of yourself in reality of things that you can improve you carry hope over here right you work these problems out you you praise yourself for making some sort of progress you don't diminish yourself if you haven't got everything figured out in one day i just i somebody uh just posted in one of the drum groups hey any advice for uh for me for drumming and you know there's like 50 comments on there and i looked through them and i was like yeah, it's going to take longer than you think, and just don't give up. This is what people do when they're hypercritical of themselves, is they just get, they expect too much. So we are trying to build inside of ourselves like this perfect sort of balance of learning so that we can get the most out of ourselves. We got to have a realistic vision of being critical, and you also have, a, have to have a realistic vision of praising yourself when you actually get to the end of the day, and you actually get some things done. Like, there's just way too much. I can't talk about this stuff. Oh, so uh, I, if you want to deep dive into any of this stuff, I wrote a book series. Uh, it's called London's Great Start Drum Set. The link is below. Uh, there's 13 books um, that walk through all the meter types, <laughs> all the divisions. If you want to deep dive into this stuff, these are overview kind of of umbrella sort of ideas so we can put our learning into a category series i wrote the series the way i wish i was taught after buying like every book that had been listed in publication there was a mass anyway there was a massive list that was made of all the books that were still that were made in publication at one time and uh still available and i sent off all this money and had you know a hundred some books laying around and uh, i had them all in charts and working through them and then you get to this certain point where you go this isn't really taking me where I need it to go. And that's why I wrote the series is the way I wish I was taught, not through exercises, but basically on the on the highway of music. Um, but once you understand how that tree works, that there's sort of this subdivisional mechanical tree and then the branches come off. Anyway, I'm making a promo right now that's gonna go through each of the books, look for that. That will run down the whole series. I'm working out these drum songs to build tracks out of now. I have eight of them done. Truly excited because I have this whole mirror kit idea, if you can see this. So you check out some of those videos to see what it is that I'm trying to point to. Always just trying to be as free as possible on the drums. Uh, this series takes you right down that road to get there. <laughs> it's just, I can't, I'm trying to make these short. So, from the Great Start Studio, back at it.